So ever since I installed Android 11 in my phone, I'm highly disappointed. It's just plain Android with few improvements. And frankly speaking, pure Android is becoming quite boring nowadays. So I installed this Flyme OS and it's completely different than stock Android. In this video, I will show you what's new here and also how to install it on your phone. So let's get started. You might be wondering what is this Flyme OS. Flyme OS is stock OS of a phone company called Meizu. If you buy Meizu phone, you get this Flyme OS pre-installed. But with the help of developers, now you can install this Flyme OS on other phones. So starting from boot animation is completely in dark mode with flat logo. This version is even more colorful than Flyme OS 7. I would say it's more eye pleasing. In my opinion, Flyme OS 7 was good, but bit boring because of those grey colors. But Flyme OS 8 is more colorful and slightly closer to material design. And as you can see, this is Flyme OS 8 based on Android 9 Pie. And I installed it on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. But don't worry, this ROM is also available for many other phones. So this is how the Flyme OS 8 look when you first install it. It might look like MIUI, but it's different. And by default, you won't get Google Play Store. You have to manually install it. I will show you how to do that in this video too. It also got Flyme App Store, but that won't be useful because mostly it's in Chinese. The features and customization in this room is just out of the world. Not only you get this different kind of user interface, also you can customize it to your personal level. You can change each and every aspect of the user interface using Flyme OS theme engine. The theme engine is really strong. So I will discuss more about features in my full review. And now I will show you how to install Flyme OS on your phone. So the only requirement is you must have TWRP recovery installed. You can use any other recovery if you want, but for this video I'm using normal TWRP recovery. And make sure from here you watch this video till end because if you miss any steps, you might break your phone. So first of all download this Flyme OS zip file and put that in your internal storage. The download link is in description. And now we are going to boot into TWRP recovery. So once you boot in TWRP, I highly recommend you take full Nandroid backup. Now go to wipe and perform factory reset wipe. Now go to install tab and locate the Flyme OS zip file. Swipe right to install. Now this process might take around 2-3 to three minutes, but we are not done yet, there is one more important step. So once it's installed, we are going to format our data. For that, go to wipe, tap on this format data tab. Now type yes and press enter. It will start formatting your data. And now you can reboot your phone. If you get any prompts like no is install, just ignore that. The first boot might take around five to 10 minutes. So be patient and don't press any button. And the process is still not complete. Still we need to install Google Play Store because without that you won't be able to install any app. So after 5 minutes you will see this Flyme OS logo. It means your install was successful. For some reason if your phone is still stuck then go to your recovery again and repeat this process. Now let me just fast forward the setup and quickly show you how to install Google Play Store on Flyme OS. So once you set up your phone, go to Flyme App Store and then type Google here. Make sure you only type Google and then install this first app. Basically this app will install Google Play services in your phone. Once you open that app, just tap here to install Play Store. And reboot your phone. And now you can enjoy this Flyme OS. Like this video if you appreciate my work. And I will see you tomorrow.